A years-long process to strengthen the penalties for sideshows in Antioch is back on the City Council agenda tonight. Uh, the Antioch City Council will consider two ordinances that broaden law enforcement's authority to penalize organizers and advertisers of the event. Crown Force Philippe Jagal has that story. Antioch police already have authority to enforce state vehicle code violations regarding illegal sideshows. Officers can arrest a person and seize their car if determined the alleged violator is engaged in speeding contests and even impound their vehicle for up to 30 days. But what police cannot do at this point is arrest and charge people for organizing the events through word of mouth or via social media. The city council is close to changing that. We gotta stop this. We just need to pass this. The council will decide between two ordinances. One penalizes organizers and advertisers with fines, jail time, and car seizures. The second, which was Mayor Lamar Hernandez Thorpe's initial proposal back in 2022, was tabled by the council late last year. It would include charges, fines, jail time, and car seizures for spectators who are within 200 feet of an illegal reckless driving exhibition. Some council members felt uncomfortable criminalizing spectators. Then earlier this year, the council chose not to take action on the ordinance targeting advertisers because they did not feel it was strong enough to be effective reducing sideshow activities. I hope that the council does something uh, and I am not, you know, I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. If, if, uh, if we want to just focus on organizers, great. If we want to focus on both, fantastic. But I know that I do not allow uh, perfection to be the enemy of progress. Council member Lori Ogerchok supports the ordinance that includes spectators and is also asking the council to consider adding flock cameras at major intersections to aid police investigations in tracking down cars associated with license plates at sideshows. It's costing us money. Uh, we had a sideshow on Deer Valley and Lone Tree Way. Um, a fire truck, this is another thing, a fire, uh, fire truck couldn't get to a call. He couldn't get through. So what happens if somebody dies because an ambulance can't go get through or a fire truck can't get through or first responders can't get to them? So who's going to be held responsible for these actions? If either ordinance passes, it could become law by the end of the summer. Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.